ever noticed lately how when you hear someone talk about their significant other, you hear them say partner and you think to yourself, what does that even really mean? Well, that's today's lesson. Don't call me your partner. Let's get it in. Uh, yeah. Now, hold up. Wait a minute. Before we get into these details, take a minute to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way the YouTube algorithm knows what's up. We're a new channel here. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So do what you do. Throw thumbs, subscribe, share the video. All right. Details? Yeah? Bang, bang? Now you've probably heard in these internet streets, the pharmaceutical community, you know, the pills and the colors, those cats. You've heard them probably say something to the effect of, I don't like the term partner and don't call me your partner. And their reasoning will be something to the effect of saying the term partner equals equal amounts of responsibility. And we as men and women don't have equal amounts of responsibility. I'm not saying that they're wrong about that, but I am saying what we're going to talk about today is from a different perspective. We're going to talk about different reasons as to why, for me and many men, we don't like the term partner. And it's twofold. First reason, it's ambiguous. It's not clear what you're talking about, who you're talking about. One of the first thoughts is, when people hear that is, are you gay? Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But again, ambiguous. Another thing they might think is, are you married? Because people are now using the term partner even for when you're married. So it could be you're gay and you're married or both or one or the other. And then, are you even talking about a significant other? We don't know. This is what I mean by ambiguous, which leads us into the second thing. It's a lower level term. Let's say you are in a CPR training class, right? Everybody's pairing up, teachers pairing up, everybody, 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 but there's an odd number of students in the class. Now the teacher goes, hey, you, little Timmy, you're gonna pair up with the training dummy. The training dummy's gonna be your partner for the class. This is what I mean. Lower level term, an inanimate object can have this term. But let's take it a step further. Let's say you're at a seminar or something and you're at a round table and everybody's sitting there and the teacher says, okay, everyone look to the person to your left. The person to your left is going to be your partner for the day. So now this person who you just met, who's a complete stranger, now has the position of partner. Stranger. See? Let's take it another step even further. And for example, you are now a police officer in the canine unit. Who is your partner in the canine unit? A freaking Doberman pitcher, homie. You have a partner that's not even human. Again, lower level term. So yeah, ladies, we don't like that. No, don't make it ambiguous. Don't have it be something where people are wondering, are you gay? Are you straight? Or, or is this a person? Are you talking about a significant other? Is it an inanimate object? Because it could be a dummy, a crash test dummy, or a, a training dummy. It could be a freaking dog. These are terms and things that lessen who I am. I'm not going to have that. No, you ain't going to lessen me. Give me the term and the respect that I deserve. Only five things are acceptable as far as the terms, okay? Five, the, these five fingers. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! You can call me your person. Now, person, it's a little slightly better than calling me your partner, but at least this one, you're guaranteed that it's a human being and not a crash test dummy or a freaking dog. Now these next four are actual titles. Cause ladies, what you gotta understand is partner and even person, those aren't titles. Those are positions. It's a position that can be held, which is why it can be held by an inanimate object or an animal. But these are titles. So the next finger is, I'm your man. I can be your person or I can be your man. I can be your boyfriend. I can be your fiance. 
or I can be your husband. Mm -hmm. Ring on this finger. Because again, ladies, these are all titles. Something that it requires skill and going past obstacles to get these things. Position can just be given to anybody by default. You're the next position in line, but a title, titles generally have to be earned. And if you're giving it to somebody, even if they didn't earn it, earn it, there's something where now that they hold the title, they have to do everything that is according to that title. If I'm your man, that means a certain list of things that are required of me to do. If I'm your husband, that's a list of things that's required for me to do. If I'm your partner, you're like, eh, it's ambiguous. It's up for grabs. It could be anything. It's too light. It's too low. It's too nothing. And the person you're with shouldn't be nothing. You should expect them to be something and they should expect to be something. And for us as men, titles mean a lot, homie. Are you kidding me? So for these reasons, ladies, yeah, don't call me your partner. That's nasty. That's a lower level term. It's an ambiguous term. People don't know what that means. No, say something that's definitive. At the very least, I'm your person. That's got some ownership to it. They're like, my person. Yeah, you can say my partner, but again, it means too many things. My person is definitive. They're like, oh, that's your significant other. That's, that's the one. That's that dude. I'm your person. I'm your man. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your fiance. I'm your husband. So yeah, give me that title. Don't call me your partner. Now, there are some dudes, some guys who are okay with it, who have either been assimilated or just for other reasons, they're just completely fine with it. But for me, wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. So it really depends on what kind of man you got, ladies. But I'm telling you right now, even the dudes who accept and tolerate the word partner, nah, most likely he's going to want one of the other five. And yes, if you have to switch up your words and how you say things, it might be a little difficult, might require a little work. But remember, of course it's gonna require work. It's not the same as when you first got this person because acquisition is elementary. Retention is hard. Now that's the end of today's lesson. Now, all these lessons are mostly free, but you gotta pay a small fee in the form of a thumb whether up or down, doesn't matter as long as you let a brother know whether you love it or hate it. And again, we're a new channel, so do the dang thing, throw thumbs, subscribe, tell everybody. Now you know you love these lessons, so come on back, click on another video. Till next time, deuce deuce.